Jamaica's Blue and Jonquil Mountains helps to sustain global biodiversity. The Jamaica Conservation and Development Trust says the island's forests are among the Caribbean's 290 key biodiversity areas and the Caribbean's 48 wholly irreplaceable sites. The Forestry Department is the lead agency responsible for the island's forest resources, managing approximately 117,000 hectares of forests in Jamaica. Minister of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment and Climate Change, Pernell Charles Jr., says the department understands its role, impacts the sustainability of the country's economy, and it has been putting in the work. Minister of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment and Climate Change, Pernell Charles Jr., says forests contribute to Jamaica's identity and its economy. We are a country uh, that is defined as a land of wood and water. So it is a source of income as well for many rural communities in Jamaica and a significant contributor to revenue earned at the local and national level from our tourism product. According to the United Nations, 31.1% or about 337,000 hectares of Jamaica is forested. The forests are important to the island's biodiversity, providing habitats for individual species, communities of creatures, entire ecosystems where life interplays with the physical environment. With the Forestry Department continuously working on maintaining, monitoring and replanting, they play a significant role in maintaining Jamaica's biodiversity. Minister Charles says mangroves are a key focus. Which we know are so important and our swamp forest which are globally recognized for their importance in the fight against climate change. In 2019, the Forestry Department commenced a process of mapping and assessing the spatial distribution, composition, and health of our mangrove areas. What we found is that over 13,000 hectares of mangroves that we assessed provided information which is now being used to prepare a national mangrove management plan to ensure effective management of the ecosystem. Minister Charles says mangrove forests have been estimated to provide approximately 32.7 million US dollars in protection to our coastal areas. It is therefore obvious that these and other benefits provided by mangroves make protecting them not simply a desire, but an existential imperative. The restoration and securing of all remaining forests in Jamaica is also a major focus of this government. And this is why in 2019, our prime minister, the Most Honorable Andrew Holness launched a national tree planting initiative. And it is in support of our nationally determined contributions toward the mitigation of climate change and in a bid to bolster our reforestation efforts so that we can increase forest cover and establish high value urban green spaces for all Jamaicans. The Environment Minister says under the initiative, as at September 2021, the department has planted and distributed more than 700,000 seedlings. He furthers that through individual actions and private partnership, they are on track to achieving the target of 3 million trees being planted in three years. <laughs> 